Hello young guitar readers, I'm Ingvar Malmsteen, I'm here to tell you a bit about my brand new album called Blue Lightning. It's a little bit different, I'm doing some variations of other people's like Rolling Stones, The Beatles, Hendrix, and my own stuff too. It's a more bluesier, and check it out. No, this I had this neck on a couple of different bodies, but this is the one that was together like this for the longest time. I've actually had this neck on a black body and on a sunburst body and everything, but for short times only. I used to always do that because it was, um, I, I just I say I want that neck on that body. And says, <laughs> I still do that. Uh, I, it's a funny story because I saw it in a, in a music store when I was like 15 years old. I wanted it and I wanted it really bad. And somebody had put a black pickguard on it. No, a chrome pickguard or something. There was a specific, the tremolo had a specific, um, it was like the, 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 the tremolo was on it had like a, like a cover on it somehow. It was like a weird, like a plastic, some, somebody had put that on it. So anyway, it's about a few months later. No, I, I go back a couple of days later and this guitar is sold. So a few months later after that, I'm auditioning drummers and I got this guy called me up. I, I play drums. I'm a guitar player too. I said, what do you have got? I got a Strat. Bring it. So he, he, he came to audition for drums, but he actually had, he is the one who bought the guitar. So I said, I'll, I'll give you a gig and I'll buy you the guitar. And uh, okay, whatever. So I bought the guitar from him. That was 19, I don't even remember the day. I was 15, so 78, 79. 2,000 Krona. It was, that was, you gotta understand, when I first started playing the guitar, there was only two guitars you could have. It was this one and Les Paul. And I always liked this one better than Les Paul. I thought Les Paul was like an acoustic guitar. I, st I still, I like acoustic, Les Pauls, so I like them, but they, you know, they're not, to me, it's not the ultimate guitar. To me, it was, this was like always the one to have. And I couldn't afford one, of course. A lot of money. So uh, I used to have copy ones when I was a kid, you know. And um, I played them for so long now, it's like the, the piece that feels like a part of me, you know. So <laughs> nothing like these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I used to work as a luthier. I could, do, I actually scalloped this guitar myself. I scalloped this guitar and la lacquered it and everything. Yeah, which is very light scallop on this, but. I always liked the way the big headstock looked. I thought it looked better. But then I, also, and I found out that it actually sounds better too. It's big headstock sound, it sounds louder. And uh, I like them all, I like them all really, but these, these ones I really like. No, I don't like that. So this used to be a three bolt, as you can see this right here. But I put a four bolt instead. Because the guitar wouldn't hand, stand up for all my beating him up on stage, you know, throwing him around and stuff. Disconnected, the, the, all the rest is the volume knob and the switch inside. Mm -hmm. Well, the reason is because when this, here's the pickup, when the pickup goes through the volume knob, it's one, it's like a resistance thing, you know, the switch doesn't really do anything. But if, if you, put the pickup also through this one, you get more resistance. It's less clear, uh, it's less powerful signal. You don't need it. And they're useless anyway. They don't do it. They don't do anything. And here, here, here you can see how it sounds like if you don't have a stacked stats pickup in the middle. And stacked. Oh, you mean like that? It yeah. depends. Uh, this, this one, this one has. This is so old. This doesn't even move. <laughs> um, I used ma mainly these two. Still, but if if I wanted to put like these two together like this, 
put th these two the, together. It's a very Hendrixy kind of like thing, you know. Sounds really cool, you know. Okay, well, if you know, if, if you have a guitar with large high frets on them, like compared to low frets, it's the same effect. If your frets are really high, you get better grip on the string. And if you carve the wood out in between the frets, it's like having a really high fret. But what I do, I carve the wood out and I, I put a big fret also. So <laughs> it says both, you know. I use the brass nut. And uh, this particular one has been broken many times. Look at the headstock. It's busted. If this had the original frets for the longest time until about, I don't know, 20 years ago. I had a jam was put in. Ah, uh, oh God, I can't remember the year. I have many guitars that are exactly the same year and everything that I started using a lot. I have, have them in there. And then, of course, when Fender started making the, the, the exact model that I want, I was basically gave them one of those. You know, like a 72, 71 guitar. And I said, like, I want it just like this. So uh, I started, I didn't really, I, I stopped using this, maybe, I don't know, 95, I don't Maybe, no, before then, 92. This is the 30th anniversary Ingve Malmsteen model from Fender. And uh, it comes in four different colors. It comes in candy apple red, sonic blue, burgundy mist, and the standard white that I always use. They call Olympic white, you know, the cream white one. And the difference is that if you look at the back here, no skunk stripe because it's a 68 maple cap. In other words, it's a glued on maple uh, fretboard. And of course, that everything is made like a 68 with the. the, the Pick guard different like this. And then that is pretty much the same. It's got a YGM, Sima uh, Duncan YGM pickups. You know. Good sound, of course. <laughs> Eve Malmsteen signature model, 30th anniversary. Burning the Mist. Amazing color. I love these. And here we have the Sonic Blue, 30th anniversary Malmsteen signature model. Very cool. Maple cap. 68 style. F plate. Beautiful. Seymour Duncan YGM 100s. No, Fury, sorry. YGM Fury. Yeah. Amazing sound. And this is also the 30th anniversary guitar. This one came a little too pale. So uh, it's gonna come in a normal, like Olympic white, like cream color that I always use. So, same thing. Uh, maple cap, Sima Duncan Furies, Malmsteen pickups, of course. Sick. So this is my cable, Ingrid Malmsteen cable from Fender. And the sound you're hearing, it's actually from the Fender Overdrive, Ingrid Malmsteen Overdrive that I designed with, with Fender. So it's right there. This I designed with Fender and it's the ultimate overdrive pedal. Um, took a long time to get it right and there it is. I use only these. This is my new console, it's Icon D control for the Pro Tools. Okay, perfect. And I have some new uh, Universal Audio processors here. Uh, what's it called? Uh, converters, new converters. You have to cut that in. <laughs> and of course, when I play the guitar, we hear is uh, actually these marshals here. Through um, uh, downstairs, I have the, all the uh, cabinets live. So uh, it's really great setup, and um, it goes through some tube gear and stuff, some focus right stuff, and uh, yeah, it's really cool.
There you have it. All the good stuff. But very important function. You got it. <laughs> Flying faders. Mm -hmm. Hello there. This is a 3.2 Spider, made from 1986 to 1989. And this particular one, they only made 30 of them in left hand right. Very rare and uh, it's beautiful, beautiful. Red tan, of course. <laughs> and here we have a three weight GTS Quattro valve. It's got four valves per cylinder, it's 985. It's the latest version of the three weights convertible. Inside of there, I have the earlier one with the four Weber carburetors. But it looks exactly the same. And then also I have a 348 Spider. It looks like a little Testarossa. That's not here today. And over here we have a car that's not that unusual. It's a 360 Spider. However, this one is extremely rare because, and I'll show you. What's extremely rare with this car, come down here, is this manual gearbox. They only made 2% of the production with the manual. The rest of them have these automatic pedals, which I don't like. So you have to push the clutch down to put it in gear, just like the classic ones. And now the top gun come back up. Watch out. I'm not going in. As you can see here, there's a little award for me being on the cover 36 times, which is amazing. And it's all because of you, so thank you very much for your support. God bless you, see you next time.